So I've just dropped Lucy off on the beach. We're going to go for a little paddle. We are going to test out the um, Starboard All Star 2020 and the Starboard Sprint 2020. And we've got a few other things. I've got some palm buoyancy aid I've got to test, which I don't usually paddle the palm with any buoyancy aid really, apart from the sort of waist belt ones. But I'm um, going to give that a go and see what that's like to paddle in a downwind, sort of really giving it some welly sort of conditions. And we've got an upwind slog as well. So going to test the boards out, see what they're like. And we're also going to test some other gear out as well. So we'll get on the water and um, see how it goes. So we've got the All-Star, we've got the Sprint. The Sprint is only 22, right? All-Star's 26. But the All-Star has totally changed its bottom shape this year. Kong Vex instead of a concave, which it had last year. And the Sprint has still got its traditional concave underneath. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So my it? predictions though is that the new All-Star is not it's definitely not going to be as stable as the older All-Star because it's as soon as you have a, a convex sticking out you, you're losing the stability of where the water sits in. The real advantage of the All-Star having this this convex instead of the instead of um, the older concave it had is when it goes to surfing and riding bumps it's going to be way more controllable yeah. and way easier to transition from left to right so that's going to be interesting to see that so uh, which one do you want to go on first uh, obviously the nose rocker is different on the sprint and we're going to have to try and it's probably going to require a bit more trimming in these conditions but well we're going to have more chop when we get around the first point aren't we yeah so i don't know which one's more stable well, I don't well why don't why don't we do a run down here and then maybe swap over yeah and then um, we can understand which is most stable and then I'll take the, the round the point round the point the really yeah. where, where it's going to be rough so why don't you start off on the sprint okay and I'll start off actually no, no I'll, st I'll, I'll start, start yeah, yeah I'll start on the sprint you start on the all-star okay so just about to get on the water Lucy's just gone to tell the old boy up on the bench that we're not going to come back so don't be alarmed <laughs> Conditions-wise, the wind is going that way. Unfortunately, we've got a sw ground swell coming in. Sorry, big coming in this way, so it does make the side chop a little bit of a handle. And the further down we go, the more open the um, it's exposed to the wind and the and the swell. And fortunately, and the choppier it's going to be. So we're probably going to change over now or in a minute, and then have a go what the conditions are like. You know, while these while these boards are both in similar conditions, and then we'll know exactly. You know which board's going to be more stable basically for the real rough bit which is down there because Lucy wants to be on a little bit more of a stabler board so we'll find out which one that is but uh, getting some going in the tiny bumps isn't it <laughs> of the um that make them way more boxy this year i think we might just go a bit further and then swap over again getting the side chop coming in now getting a little bit more technical not ideal downwind conditions in the slightest but 
this is what we're here to do, test the boards out, see if they're actually working really rubbish conditions as well. Get that nose in, you can't bury that nose no matter what you do, it still wants to come back up. I'm not moving back on the board, I'm just pounding that nose in the water, trying to get it down. A little update while I'm waiting for Lisa to catch up, she went in again, we're going to swap boards now. Um, this buoyancy aid, it doesn't feel like I've got a buoyancy aid on to be honest. Apart from it being warmer around my chest, there's no, no restriction at all movement. Really good to paddle with actually and see that. These handles are great for that. Well, the biggest thing I've noticed though between jumping on that and that in the chop is how when this one starts to go on a wave it catches the wave really easily and it, and it is faster than that but it starts to go off at an angle and you can't bring it back which I sort of knew about because of that nose shape but the all-star you can just redirect it and change angle really easy because of the roundness of the front and that I really felt that on that chop I didn't like it very much at all I was like oh come on and then you got to get further back and obviously then because the board's narrower it's quite hard it's quite unstable I don't think that All-Star is that much more unstable than last year's though, straight away on first impressions. It doesn't feel ridiculous, like, but it's nice because the All-Star's got that open deck, it's way easier to move around, like here you feel quite claustrophobic. Yeah. But obviously, you know, it's not, it is a flat, more of a flat water based board or more of a person who's got a real higher advanced level that wanna, wants to, um, can get the most out of it really. So we finished the downwind bit. Um, now we've got a big crosswind, a little bit of bumps here. We're gonna go around the corner, but we're unfortunately gonna have a headwind all the way. But that's that's good because then we can really test the two boards. I imagine the sprint's gonna to totally rule it over there. It is way quicker obviously per paddle stroke, but we'll see how the noses um, work in the upwind conditions. Right, we're in the shelter behind this wall. We're about to go around the corner and it is, it is gonna be horrific upwind paddle. There's no doubt about it. It's gonna be a long way mile maybe a bit further and it's going to be full-on force four to five on the nose so I might not talk to you very much because it might be unpleasant but we'll see how it goes I think I'll definitely deserve a chocolate brownie at the end of this okay Lucy's off see you later okay so we're half not halfway through our wind paddle but we've got a bit to go I'm hanging on to a boat a boat mooring at the moment Stop me from moving. I've got all the way I'm going right up into the top. We're going right up into the top corner up there. It's headwind all the way. So it's not pleasant, but it's not horrific on these boards, no doubt. It's better than doing it on a obviously a 10 6 ice up or something. But it's not the sort of thing you stop and do filming with your camera because as soon as you stop paddling, you'll move 20, 30, 40 feet within four seconds. So just going to keep your head down and get all the way up there. I'll give you a little update when we get there. Oh, just in the shelter of this, around the corner, the trees here. Trying to find a bit of shelter from this wind. It's relentless. But I've still got the sprint, so I'm still flying along. <laughs> Gotta get back to the 
school pickup in half an hour. Put the hammer down. Chocolate muffin with double cream.